Less than a year from now, the world is going to celebrate the International Year of Astronomy, which marks the 400th anniversary of Galileo's first glimpse of the night sky through a telescope. In a few months, the world is also going to celebrate the launch of a new invention from Microsoft Research, which I think is going to have as profound an impact on the way we view the universe as Galileo did four centuries ago. It's called the Worldwide Telescope, and I want to thank Ted and Microsoft for allowing me to bring it to your attention. And I want to urge you, uh, when you get a chance, to give it a closer look at the TED lab downstairs. The Worldwide Telescope takes the best images from the world's greatest telescopes on Earth and in space and has woven them seamlessly to produce a holistic view of the universe. It's going to change the way we do astronomy. It's going to change the way we teach astronomy. And I think most importantly, it's going to change the way we see ourselves in the universe. If we were having this TED meeting in our grandparents' day, that might not be so big a claim. In 1920, for example, you weren't allowed to drink. If you were a woman, you weren't allowed to vote. And if you looked up at the stars in the Milky Way on a summer night, what you saw was thought to be the entire universe. In fact, the head of Harvard's uh, observatory back then uh, gave a great debate in which he argued that the Milky Way galaxy was the entire universe. Harvard was wrong big time. Of course, we know today uh, that galaxies extend far beyond our own galaxy. We can see all the way out to the edge of the observable universe, all the way back in time, almost to the moment of the Big Bang itself we can see across the entire spectrum of light, revealing worlds that had previously been invisible. We see these magnificent star nurseries where nature has somehow arranged for just the right numbers and just the right sizes of stars to be born for life to arise. We see alien worlds, we see alien solar systems, 300 now and still counting, um, and they're not like us. We see black holes at the heart of our galaxy in the Milky Way and elsewhere in the universe where time itself seems to stand still. But until now, our view of the universe has been disconnected and fragmented, and I think that many of the marvelous stories that nature has to tell us have fallen through the cracks, and that's changing. I want to just briefly mention three reasons why my colleagues and I in astronomy and in education are so excited about the World Wide Telescope and why we think it's truly transformative. First, it enables you to experience the universe. The World Wide Telescope for me is a kind of magic carpet that lets you navigate through the universe where you want to go. Second, you can tour the universe with astronomers as your guides. And I'm not talking here about just experts who are telling you what you're seeing, but really people who are passionate about the various nooks and crannies of the universe, who can share their enthusiasm and can make the universe a welcoming place. And third, you can create your own tours, you can share them with friends, you can create them with friends, and that's the part that I think I'm most excited about, because I think that at heart we are all storytellers. And in telling stories, each of us is going to understand the universe in our own way. We're going to have a personal universe. I think we're going to see a community of storytellers evolve and emerge. Before I introduce the person responsible for the Worldwide Telescope, I just want to leave you with this brief thought. When I ask people, how does the night sky make you feel? They often say, oh, tiny, I feel tiny and insignificant. Well, our gaze fills the universe. And thanks to the creators of the Worldwide Telescope, we can now start to have a dialogue with the universe. Uh, I think the Worldwide Telescope will convince you that we may be tiny, but we are truly, wonderfully significant. Thank you.
And I, I, I can't tell you what a privilege it is to introduce Curtis Wong from Microsoft. Thank you, Robin. So what you're seeing here is uh, a wonderful presentation, but it's one of the tours. And essentially, this tour is one, was one that was created earlier. And the tours are all totally interactive, so that if I were to go somewhere, you're, you may be watching a tour, and you can pause anywhere along the way, you know, pull up other information. Uh, there are lots of web and information sources about uh, places you might want to go. Uh, you can zoom in. You can pull back out. The whole resources are there available for you. So Microsoft, this is a project that, you know, Worldwide Telescope is dedicated to Jim Gray, who's our colleague. And a lot of his work that he did is really what makes this project possible. Uh, it's, it's a labor of love for us and our small team. And we really hope it'll inspire kids to explore and learn about the universe, basically kids of all ages like us. And so Worldwide Telescope will be available this spring. Uh, it'll be a free download. Thank you, Craig Mundy. Uh, and it'll be available at the uh, website worldwidetelescope.org, which is something new. And so um, what you've seen today is less than a fraction of 1% of what is in here. And in the TED Lab, we have a tour that was created by a six-year-old named Benjamin that will knock your socks off. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you there. Thank you. Thank you so much.